one of the greatest, does it again when it matters. The champion, Caballo in the red gloves, the challenger, Musasi, in the blue gloves. Musasi told us that Caballo's height and length was the only two things that really gave him pause. Well, in talking with him, the one thing he said is, look at, I know he's dangerous, I know he's long, I know he's powerful, but I know how to fight him. And that was the confidence that he brought into this. So we're gonna see, does he know how to fight this guy? London crowd chanting Musasi. Gegard Musasi has fought all over the world for almost, well, I believe he's fought for every major promotion that has existed in mixed martial arts. Think about it, Moro. Strike Force champion, dream middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Two he and one in pride. Yeah. And now Musasi explodes from the takedown. And Caballo will try to get back up to his feet as quick as possible because you do not want to mess with Musasi on the ground. No, this is a big, important moment right now. Does Caballo get back to his feet? Good. Caballo gets back to his feet. That's very impressive, but he still has Gegard on his back, and he's going to bring him right back down. And Caballo, remember, in his professional debut, suffered a anaconda choke submission, but he's reeled off 15 consecutive victories since, and Caballo now looking for a standing Kimura, but he's taken down face first by Musasi. Beautiful outside trip, and how he did that, that was beautiful, Moro. That was an impressive takedown by Gegard. First of a possible five five-minute rounds for the Bellator MMA Middleweight Championship. Go behind by Musasi with the waist lock. He'll try to drag Caballo back to the ground. Gets on top, Caballo. Just past the midpoint of the opening round. Caballo controlling, was attempting to control Musasi's posture. Musasi into full mount. Dire straits for the Bellator MMA middleweight champion. Caballo just wanting to stay as close to Musasi as he can. Neck crack attempt here, and Musasi feeding Caballo right hands. You saw the lace with the left hands. Oh, the crowd and pound from the back by Gegard Musasi. Musasi. Biggest thing is he's not being able to move. Gegard oh, Musasi, no, 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 no. it's the new Bellator Easy. MMA middleweight champion. First, first round finish of Gegard oh, Musasi's career. From Dream He's to hurt. Strike Force to Bellator MMA, Musasi can once again call himself champion. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Three minutes, 35 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO, and now the new Bellator middleweight world champion, Gagard Musasi. Two champions in their prime. It really doesn't get Ready much fight. better Ready. than this. The bell and round one. McDonald in the blue gloves. Musasi in the red gloves. What do you look forward to early on in this fight, John? I look for Rory McDonald to try to establish that jab. He's got to establish the jab to get the respect of Gegard Musasi to stand up. Well, Musasi possesses one of the best jabs in the sport. He does. If you're looking at Rory McDonald, you have to say you've got to start establishing the ability to get that takedown. Like oh! And now McDonald attempting the takedown, but it's Musasi delivering elbows, and now Musasi inside the guard of Rory McDonald. He's trying to work things out. You see him opening that guard, going back to a close, but he's trying to change the angle. He's having a hard time controlling the posture of Gago. Musasi's been submitted three times in his career, but it's all about the ground and pound. Now a wide base, and there is McDonald controlling or keeping Musasi. Look at that slice through, right yep. there, right into half guard. Beautiful slice by Gigard Musasi, and he's actually trying to go down. Oh, right to full mount. Musasi has mounted Rory McDonald here in round two, and McDonald trying to hold on. See him taking his hips, bringing him up high on 
Rory McDonald's chest. This is a bad position wow. for Rory. Rory was mounted by Damian Maya, but Damian Maya doesn't have the strikes that Gengar Musasi has. Wow, Red Rory King is in trouble. and Musasi treating the Red King he like the victims of the Red Wedding. A man left him out too. Musasi ground and pound. Musasi maintains the Bellator MMA Middleweight Championship, stopping Rory McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Herb Dean steps in, waves off the contest due to unanswered strikes. Official time, three minutes, 23 seconds into round number two. The winner by TKO and still Bellator middleweight world champion, Geko Musashi. Tonight's main event for the Bellator Middleweight Championship. Gegard Musasi, now a two-time champion in this division against John Sultan. Uh, ready, Eight and ready, one sir. in Bellator round with one, one go, knockout go. and six submissions. The bell in round one, the champion Musasi in the red gloves, the challenger, the Southpaw Salter in the blue gloves. And Musasi told me prior to tonight's fight that he was going to quote bulldoze Salter, close quote. You can go back to his fight against Warren McDonald and you can see the difference in speed and look at how good takedown defense being exhibited by Musasi. It was good, he stopped it, but you saw that John Salter did not just go with one attempt. He continued forward and gets the takedown. We'll see what he can do with it. It was Musasi's older brother who got him training and grappling after Musasi started with judo and boxing as a child. And Musasi on his feet, coming up on the final minute of the opening round as Salter continues to control from behind. Looking to take Musasi to the canvas. Musasi fighting the hands, trying to turn into John Salter. That's a good move by Musasi, but with Salter's hands, if he can get them together, he can get that takedown again. Pressure by Musasi. Exactly. Relentless pressure, and it makes it to where John's not comfortable. When you're not comfortable in the fight, you tend to burn energy. There is the takedown attempt, and Musasi stops the takedown, but the tenacious Salter continues to secure it and does so. One for three. And that was half of a round with. Gegard Musasi landing a lot of clean, crisp striking. We'll see what John Salter can do from the grappling position. Officially the to second takedown secured by John Salter. And that elbow strike that you're looking at, that's super important for Gegard Musasi to go back to that, because that will make John Salter bring his hand off of the leg up to protect his head. Musasi continues to defend now in top position with Salter on his back. Musasi posturing up, final minute of the second. Piston leg left hand by Musasi, stacking Salter against the fence. And this right here, you know, people look and they think, you know, John Salter great on the ground. Well, trust me, in the top position, Gegard Musasi is a monster. He wants to jackhammer those punches from distance. He's got great hips. Watch out, he'll bring the hip pressure forward. And then he brings heavy strikes down. Right now, John Salter is starting to eat a lot of shots. Musasi looking to want to deliver on another prediction. I heard him make that he would stop it in the second round. 20 seconds left. Musasi ground and pound on the challenger, John Salter. This is Gagan. This is classic Gagar Musasi. The dream catcher looking to smash the dreams of the number one contender. Strong finish to round two for the Bellator middleweight champion. But he has a huge advantage in terms of punches thrown and landed. Nice shot actually by John Sullivan, but look who ends up in the top position. And that's because John's getting tired. He has put a lot of energy in trying to get Gegard down to the mat. It didn't work for him in the second round. Now he's got a lot of time that he's got to work right here to get himself out of this bad position. Musasi looking to perhaps secure mount on Salter instead just plaps him on the ground delivering a steady diet of right hand. Some of them sneaking through the 
Guard. 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 Assault the referee on top of the action. It's a championship fight, but John's got to do something to stop what oh, Gegard's oh, 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 doing. The Musasi onslaught ends with Gegard Musasi successfully beginning his record second Bellator middleweight title reign with a successful title defense, stopping John Salter. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, due to unanswered strikes, referee Dan Bergliotta steps in to wave off the contest officially. Two minutes, seven seconds into round number three. The winner by TKO and still Bellator middleweight world champion, Gaga Musasi. Musasi, the champion in those red gloves against the man who is desperate for the title, who thinks it's his destiny. Austin van der Ford, and we're underway. Remember, five, five-minute rounds for the title. Ford. Stuck through the guard. Austin trying to use a lot of feints right there, trying to get Saucy to just give a movement, give a tell. Oh, a that was a short right hand, and he followed it up, Musasi. That was a solid right hand. That stung Austin. He felt that. Austin swinging hard there, needs to collect himself. Just a little danger there. Rivanda Ford getting sucked in straight away to Musasi's spine. See, in this right here, just take a look at the stance of Musasi. He's very square because he's looking to stop the takedown of Austin Vanderford. So that's an advantage for Vanderford. But right now, Musasi's the one landing the bigger shots in the stand-up. There's that jab. Left hook from Musasi. And Vanderford was hurt early. The legs were unsteady. Looks for the takedown. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. One minute, 25 seconds into round number one by TKO. He is still Bellator middleweight world champion, Gegard Musasi.